Welcome back to the Choice Podcast, where, well, this week we're going to be talking about spring turkey. And Turkeys. It's coming up. It is coming yeah, up. I mean, it's here in some yeah. places. Yeah. yeah, down in Florida it started, yep. you know what I mean, in some other states. So. And we've been seeing some people whacking some oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. good toms. Putting some thunder chickens down. Some yes. thunder chickens. Yes, thunder, thunder chickens. chickens. I think it's the second time I've ever heard that. I've yeah. never heard really? that. Really? Thunder never. chickens, yep. Oh, you guys are just so young. Yeah, they just we don't are. know. Yep. Well, that's they why we have a list of questions for you guys. Oh, yeah. Because well, you, you put them online. There, right? and from, I was going to say, you got them online from social and stuff like that. Now you guys put them all together and you didn't let us see them. No. no. Well, we gave you a no. few just kind of ideas. You can't look at them. He can't see, he can't see them anyway. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah. Where are your glasses? See. Do you know where your glasses are right now? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> They're not on your head. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> anyways, uh, well, before we go into the questions, I did want to talk about the predation out here, especially because this morning we woke up. Oh. You guys sent us a video of yeah. you walked Leo and... Yeah, oh, there's so a dead turkey. Turkey. Yesterday so, you found one down the hill. Yeah, so it's yesterday we went, we, we took our tracker down yep. below to go check everything out down in our meadow. And we're just driving around and then I saw a big turkey wing and I go, ooh, bummer. So I go and I look in and I film it and here there's just like the chest bone, just the, the breast bone just stuck in there, cleaned out with a wing here and a couple oh. little feathers. I was like, dang, that stinks. And then this morning. Would you consider that a chicken wing? No, it's a turkey. Okay, turkey, turkey wing. wing. It's a turkey yeah. wing. Turkey wing. So is it anyway, just as good as a chicken wing? It depends. Probably okay. bigger, and if it's no, probably not. Probably okay. Good. Anyway, so then this morning, yeah. we regress. <laughs> this morning, I went and I walked Leo, and it was just the sun wasn't even up, up over the mountain yet. And I'm walking, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, and I look, and I find a dead chicken. A t- now you guys ah! see a chicken. <laughs> Oh God! I find I a dead. I see another another turkey. turkey wing. Another turkey wing. It was fresh. And I go though. walking up to it, mm-hmm. and it's fresh. I mean, it's it's the it, head is still on it. There's got one leg. It had to wing. be killed this morning. It had to be killed this morning because the meat in the breast was still there, and you could see yeah. where it had been gnawing on yep. it. And so I film it, and I'm like, all right, well, this is great. Not. <laughs> I'm like, so there's two turkeys that I found in the last day. So I go inside, and I'm like, hey, Ralph, check this out. So I show him the video. And he's like, that looks fresh. I go, it is fresh. He goes, let's go put a spy point camera up. And I go, all right. I go, it's just down past the woodshed. He goes, okay. So he goes running out. I go, and I'm starting to make us breakfast. Mm -hmm. And he goes out, and then, I don't know, 10 minutes later, he comes in. He goes, Vicky, where is it? And I go, it's just down. It it's just down past the woodshed. I saw a video. You gotta believe yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So true. he went out and it's you see, gone. Yeah, you could see where it was all scratched up. I'm just going to keep talking. You know what I mean? You could see. Well, I'm just telling them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, talk. is, We're talking. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's you know not mean? confusing at all. That. It's a podcast. We'll just keep talking over each other. Yeah, we'll just keep talking over each other. Everybody's used to this anyways. So anyway, so he thought I was crazy, which isn't anything new. Totally. So I go out there, I'm like, come on. He goes, yeah, I walked. He goes, I got stickers all. I go, it wasn't in the weeds. It was oh, like Oh, and a quarter right. down the mountain. I'm looking, you know what I mean? No, she goes, it, it was, was below the shed. And I'm like, yeah, in the video, it's, it's you can it's, see it's, 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 it's right before yeah. it gets, yeah. Well, no. we're, we're on the fire mitigation is, it's clear. Right. right. It's so we gone. Go, we yeah. go walking back out there, and I'm like, well, this is odd. I'm like, thankfully, <laughs> I filmed it. Because then I'm like, take, I pick, I'm opening up the video that I filmed, and I'm making sure I'm standing <laughs> where I can see the trees. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> now it should be here. And it's not. And you were like... That it had to be a bobcat and was probably watching us. Yeah. yeah. Well, what you probably did is you and Leo bumped it. It couldn't <laughs> carry it off right off the bat. You know yeah. what I mean? So it yeah. ran in yeah. the bushes. All of a sudden, you left. It came, grabbed it, and it boogied yeah. off the mountain. Because a, a lion, it would have been probably. Oh, yeah. Lion, a lion, a coyote, they would have cut it been there. You it's could a just cat. Tell, yeah. Yeah. It looked like it was cut, you know, like cats yeah. feed, so it scoops it out. We haven't seen too many bobcats. I got my no. first, no. My yeah, first one got beginning of this year, and then... I think I've only maybe seen two since we got out here, yeah. and I probably well, shot the one that I've seen. And, <laughs> and, and I'm thinking the other one that we found yesterday down below, that had to be a bobcat too, because I, th- I would think a coyote would eat the, the breast bones and stuff like that. Yeah, they'll, chew, they'll break they them They would up. chew on it, and it wasn't. <laughs> so it was just kind of <clears throat> odd. But, yeah, so we got a little predation here. But, I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. Do you remember a couple of years ago we were down at Hoppy's, and I was hunting, and we had yep. the, the, the Tom was working, he was following a hen, and then all of a sudden he started going away, but then all of a sudden this giant eagle He starts comes in. sidestepping. Right. He's like, whoa, and we're all going, what the heck's going on? And You know, and, and that brings up a good point, because that, that year, and we're, we're talking, we had five sits. When I say it, it's not a day, five days. Right. It was a morning sit and an afternoon. That's two sits, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So in five sits, we filmed two eagles, you know, trying to take the gobblers. 
So, so think, that's what we saw in five sits. Right. Think of what happens out there. You know, an when we talk about... An entire season, an entire year, right. I'd say. There's so much predation on turkeys. Mm -hmm. You, you right. know what I mean? And, and there, it's from above. It's from the ground. So, and, so and it's this not is why the, they're all like this. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? All do the time. Do we all have to do that? Side yeah, eye. we all. A little side eye. Side eye. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Take a screenshot of that one. for mm -hmm. the, it would be All of beautiful. us. It would be beautiful. All yeah. the side yeah. eye. You know, the thumbnail of it will yeah. be like... You know, we've also learned through all the years, and, and listen, we're no we're no turkey experts. We've just been doing it a long time. You know, we're, we're not like Matt Moret, Eddie Salter, you know, right. Michael. I, I mean, all of the guys that live, you know, live and breathe turkeys. But, you know, my first turkey, late 70s, you know, with my bow. Yeah. Late 70s. Late 70s. Wow. Yeah. Well, let's say, put it this way. I shot at them in the late 70s. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think of how old I was in the late 70s. Whatever. Okay, think, so anyways. I think that's twice my age. Here's, here's, here's <laughs> what I've, I've learned, and, and we, we've actually quantified it with other hunters, and that is if you're in a, in a heavy predation area, right. there's a lot of times you're not going to have a lot of vocalization because those birds have grown up going, oh, heck. You know what I mean? Right. You'll still get them to respond sometimes, but they're going to be quieter in those areas because they know once they make that noise, you know, they're losing their kin. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they're, you know what I mean? So, so, so in those situations get, when you can shoot multiple birds at places that have, say they got hurt the year prior, whether it be weather, predation, anything, do you recommend not going after, say you can shoot two, three birds in this location? Maybe only take that one or two, try to be a little bit more responsible for managing those turkeys. RJ, absolutely. You, you know, and that's a hard thing because everybody waits for that spring season or the fall for whatever <laughs> right. they're doing. And even though your states may say, hey, listen, you could take three birds or, you know, the legality's two or, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. If you know, just like your deer, you know, if you have EHD come in or CWD. You have a hard you, fall right. or a hard if, year. If, if you know that, you know, numbers are down. Mm -hmm. Be the best steward you can to the land he, and, and right. the wildlife right. and say, you know what, I don't need to shoot three birds this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. You know, the nests were, we, we had heavy torrential down, downpours. The nests were flooded. The predation was big. You know, bet, I mean, between hawks, opossums, raccoons, yeah. I mean, foxes. Bobcats. 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 <laughs> everything. <laughs> you know, if you're more seeing, of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're seeing your numbers down, mm -hmm. then you know what? Be the best steward you can. And, and, and you say, hey, all I need is one bird this year. You, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Still go out, enjoy it, and take your family out and do everything. But but sometimes we, we should do what the best, we you know, as far as we know, the best to be the stewards. Absolutely. Well, that'll lead right into our next part, like you brought oh. up a second ago with... Uh, Without even knowing? Well, well wow. some, we, had, we got a bunch <laughs> wow. of questions from Facebook and yes. everything else from everybody online that we posted okay. a few days ago before filming this. What do you recommend doing if those birds are being quiet in that scenario where you go out in the morning, afternoon, whenever it might be, you try to get a locator call in and nothing? Okay. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> go back to bed. You, you, you have some coffee. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you <laughs> no. have a thermos of coffee anyway, so don't get it. That's, true. Yeah. That's, true. That's why I like morning. turkey hunting. A few you know, of them. I can take it with me. Yes. A, good, a very good point or a good question, whoever brought that. I mean, <laughs> it, it's so true because you will be in areas, you know what I mean, that will turn around and, and, and they won't be as vocal. I always go back to my rule of thumb. Food, cover, and water. I don't care what animal you're hunting on this planet. Mm -hmm. If you can figure out those three things, you, you know what I mean? Yep. You can become more successful at any hunt that you're possibly going on. So, as I say, so like with turkeys, one of the things is if they are quiet, is figure out where the roost is at. That's it. Because yeah. mm -hmm. that's going to help you. If you can figure out where they're roosting at night, mm -hmm. then that way you know where to go and just kind of look and watch and listen. Yep. That's just a like great start for back, it. Back in Illinois, I remember we used to do it all the time. We'd get yep. not quite under them, but we'd get right next to them and we'd know what field they'd usually fly down into. Yep. Right. And it's we would kind of get ready for that field. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. And there was a lot of times we used ground blinds and we used permanent, right. not permanent, but, you know, semi-permanent setups mm -hmm. because we knew the routine. Yep. You know, and knowing the routines when you have quiet birds, you still know that all of a sudden those, those you know, the gobblers will get, fly down, the hens will fly down, they're going to do all their things and they'll make all the noise and they're going <laughs> to strut, you know, oh, oh look at me, you know, all this stuff. And then all of a sudden the hens are going to go to nest. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, when all that happens, what do those toms do? 
that's when they start cruising. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. The other thing is she's going to go lay down and she's probably going to come up and she wants to go dust. Mm -hmm. That's something I think a lot of people don't pay attention to, and that's those dusting areas. How You saw what we did in Illinois. We created our own. We've created yep. our own here. Mock-ups. Yep. And you yep. see, you know, we, we, used, we tried the, even the ashes from the burnt, remember, the, the, yep. from yep. the fire? From the fires. Because it's so dusty. It's so light. Mm -hmm. And what happened? We put a spy point. We actually had birds dusting. <laughs> in the ashes. In the ashes. So, again, there's strategies that you can do to create, mm -hmm. and that's good. that dusting's probably going to be more in a late morning, early mm -hmm. afternoon, you know, scenario. Yep. So, again, what you're trying to do is you're just trying to figure them out, pattern them, and once you do that, you're going to be more successful. And do you know why they dust? No, I was going to ask, why do they Go dust? On. So it's basically, it's kind of to clean themselves up. That's right. Okay. If they have some, you know, some of them may have Little fleas mites, and fleas. mites and stuff right. like that. And by dusting and rolling around just, and getting it all up, all of that stuff just kind of helps it all get off of them. So, mm -hmm. huh. do you got any yeah. charcoal? So when you pick them up, just remember they got fleas. Yeah, make me start and stuff. Yeah. It's like you the start doing Mandela it. effect almost. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down there. <laughs> no, okay, what's your next question? Oh, gosh. Hmm. <laughs> Should we? This one? Yeah, why not? Okay. When should you go out? Your time like, of day. The time of day, weather. Does weather take thing? a big effect with birds, especially yes. like turkeys? Well, a lot of people don't know, but the tendon on, on those birds, okay? When you watch them, it, and if you want, I guess more you, of a, you take yeah. your bird this year, do me a favor. This is a real fun thing to do, especially with the family, <laughs> yes. is the leg will be straight, bend the leg, and put your have your child's finger right here. And when you bend the leg, that tendon, goes you know mm -hmm. wraps on it yeah it's just so cool to understand that's how they stay in their you know up in their roost high winds and all and it that locks on pretty they much. lock down when they go to settle their body and it goes down it locks in if the bobcat so didn't cool. steal that turkey this morning we could have tried it on you yeah we could have done that I mean, we did it last year okay. remember yeah that's mm -hmm. right yeah. and you saw yeah, it okay. remember yeah. yep. so, so, so cool. yeah so, so, so i mean Go ahead, you're, Go you're oh. talking about it locking on, yeah. and then you segued well, over that way. Oh, no. I'm bringing you back around. I'm, drained, I'm, I'm bringing you back around. Um, you, you know, and, and like, what is the best time? Well, first and foremost, like any successful hunt, you got to scout. You've mm -hmm. got to try to figure them out. Now, a lot of times you may go in an area that you've never been before, mm -hmm. you know, and if you try a locating call or something like that. The other thing I don't think a lot of people pay attention to, and that is talk to the landowners. Man, yeah. talk to those farmers and those ranchers and say, hey, can I just ask, where do you normally see your birds? Yeah, they're out there And they're there the first every day. ones to say, oh, man, okay, you see that big cottonwood tree? Go up there. It's, you know, a quarter of a mile and turn right. And in that valley, that's, well, guess what? Right when he said, look at, look at that big cottonwood tree, mm -hmm. what's that tell you? They're roosting. They're roosting mm -hmm. right You know, because out here in the west, you have a lot of cedars and pinions that right. they really aren't going to be in. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Yep. But they're going to be in those taller trees where they can roost and be secure and safe. So pinpointing those little areas right away <laughs> can start getting you in a position to start locating those birds. You know, and time-wise, well, you, first off, you got to figure out what, you know, remember in Illinois, you had to be done, I think, at one. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, so, some states are only morning. Because then they yep. go ahead and oh. let the birds go to root, go mm -hmm. to nest and roost and take the rest of the day off, mm -hmm. sit on their nests. You know, and you well, that's don't. A perfect time to scout. It Are is we? a perfect that's time to scout. That's a perfect time to scout, scout yes. if you can't hunt the afternoons. Right. You see where they're going to well, go roost. You go find. Yeah. Get up spot. to a high vantage point. Mm -hmm. yep. You know you what I mean? And glass if you can. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And utilize that. Um, the other, like you were saying, time wise, as we know, as it starts getting light, your birds wake up. You know, they all start talking and then they fly down. Mm -hmm. So obviously you need to be in a position if you locate that roost, you don't want to get too close, you know, 80 yeah. to 100 yards away and you just settle in, you got your decoys out, you know what I mean? And you, I've always truly believe you just follow what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, they're talking to you. I'm not a great turkey hunter as far I can't, you know, call like, like those other guys can. But I've done my fair share and, and put a whole bunch down, in, you know, in the freezer. But the reason being is I sort of listen to what they say. And yeah. then I just try to give it back to them. So you don't think there's like a specific cadence like a lot of people will have their entire lineup of how they're going to call the birds, this call, this call, this call, changing up. He said cadence. Cadence. Yeah. Okay. That's, okay. It's kids I, getting. I know. I'm I think, like, I, I think dang. Every, I, here's what I think. He's I think every day research. him and Aubrey open up the dictionary and learn or Google word. and they go one word. <laughs> Got to. Cadence. Right? Got to keep it And I'll remember toes. about one word out of every every year, every 365 days yeah yeah i remember was it? one word yeah i think cadence okay. well i was in so, drumline so that oh my god oh okay there you go <laughs> perfect that's true okay so 
But one of the things is like you were talking like what if you wanted like certain calls, if you had it set up and dad said he just kind of repeats yeah. what he hears. But the other thing is, is when you're going into the woods and it's still dark out because a lot of times you want to get to your point before it gets light. So they can't mm -hmm. see you. They have great eyesight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is you usually do a little owl hoot yep. or something just to make sure they're where you thought they were. <laughs> yep. You always want to try to pinpoint. Now, I mean, you know, we've gone into spots and we busted them walking in the morning. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, it was dark out mm -hmm. and we still busted them off the roost because we didn't know that those flew up here where we parked the vehicle. Mm -hmm. and we walk in, yeah. you know, a quarter of a mile yeah. and they were right there. But that, that's just things that happen. Yes, sir. Um, and then there's the times where you know you watch them roost over there and something boogered them in yep. the middle of the night and you go, you get set up and all of a sudden it's getting dawn out and they're up above your head. You didn't yeah. bust them out, but they're up there over your head, and you're going, oh, don't this move. isn't this good. Don't <laughs> Don't move. open your mouth. Don't look up. Yeah, yeah. Keep your mouth shut. Not Gross. a good thing. But it happens. Could be a crappy fun. day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> As for weather, you were saying, like, weather. Wind makes it harder to hear them, obviously. Yep. <laughs> um, we have hunted in the rain. Yeah. Um, I shot a bird down there um, with Oscar Outfitters with Hoppy. In the pouring rain and yep. a thunderstorm, crazy downpour. <laughs> Jeez. So, I mean, it works. I mean, he wasn't moving because he was like, oh, I'm going to drown. But, yeah, you know. Like, uh. But on the other side of things, we also went hunting that one time up in, was it Nebraska? Where they had like a nine-year drought. And yeah. we showed up and, and they got so much <sighs> rain Poor. in the three days we were there. The Chamber of Commerce was thanking us. Thanking us, yeah. Because we're like, it's probably our fault we showed up. Oh we always bring gosh. weather, whether it's pouring oh, rain, yeah. snow, whatever, we bring it with us, just so you guys yep. know. And they were thanking us in the diner. These people, oh, you guys are the ones that brought this rain? Thank you guys. We needed this. And That's we're like, like, you're welcome. Like, sure. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Right. Let's yeah. go back. Let's we go saw home. turkeys in scuba gear flying. You know, <laughs> it was by. bad. It was bad. It Going really down was. the creeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my it was gosh. Bad. So maybe not that much rain. Yes. Okay. Well, then. To continue on with our leading into the next conversation, yes. turkeys' eyesights are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yes, phenomenal. They, are. Yep. Uh, they see colors. Yep. Yes, so they in, do. So in that case, blinds, full camo, what, what do you think? Do you think you, you don't go out in jeans because, of course, they can see your pants? Okay, here, mm -hmm. here's, look at this. Hands, mm -hmm. face, huge. Get a mask on, you know what I mean? Get some type of gloves. And like your hats, a lot of times, you, you know, and, and listen, People have shot turkeys in a flannel oh, shirt, absolutely. okay? Yeah. Yeah. It, it just, it, a rancher can walk out because he's out there every day, or right. a farmer, can go out in his bib overalls or his jeans, you, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, in a t-shirt, and the birds don't do anything. Look at these birds that come up off the mountain in the roost here, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they, and we hear them, and they come walking right by the house. That's because mm -hmm. where They're we live. They're just used to it. Yeah. Huh? Right, you're They're, right. They're getting acclimated to humans. Acclimated. Big word. Second one Number today. Two. Wow. Woo. Ooh. You know, and I brought some. They are acclimated. They are. They're definitely acclimated. Like here. Uh oh. I dig this. Look at. It. How long has that been in your pocket? You just carry that thing around every day. He but, does. But, it's scary. You okay. never know when he's going to take I it. See, out. You're, you're think, but look doing? at your head now. The human silhouette yeah. is completely. Well, the shine on the top of your head is was bad. This guy, I'm yeah. glad you put that on it, because otherwise you would need to put this. Because man, you would blind the camera. Wow. But, the so you just flip thing. this yeah, up. Just... Look at that though. Right, I just want to take that out of your back. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. No. Even the shine I coming dig down your this face. new hat I got. So <laughs> I can tell you right now, you know, and that goes back to another thing, like when you're talking blinds, or if you're talking. Cute. Look at. Perfect. See. Okay, go ahead. You, Where'd you mom look go? good there. Can you see me? I can't. Oh, okay. Where'd that come from? And then the natural wind would just blow these around. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Your shadow, your silhouette, all of it. Oh, okay. it just, perfect. It gives it dimension. Dimension. So dimension. Then, oh do you gosh. think you need a blind if you're suited in all either right. ghillie or camo? We've shot, we've shot turkeys with every weapon you could imagine, mm -hmm. okay? Even with our bows, blinds, and without blinds. Mm -hmm. Your movement is so critical. When that bird turns and shifts, there you go, I like that. When that bird turns and shifts, you have to remember how his peripheral is. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. You, you know what I mean? That's right, they, you know, this way. So when he comes to full fan and he turns away from you, he can't see you mm -hmm. unless his head's up. 
And most of the time when he's at full, he's brought, his head's tucked in. You know yeah, what I mean? So when he turns, like, hey. that's when you do this. You bring your bow back if, yep. you're, if you have no cover. Mm -hmm. In your blind, it does hide so much movement. Right. You still got to watch your movement, though, mm -hmm. because their eyesight really is that good. And they will see movement within there. One of the things that, I mean, they're great because you want to be able to see out. But as mm -hmm. a hunter, those 3D blinds that you can see yep. through. As you got to make sure that it's dark behind you yes. and there's not as much right coming through. in. That's right. right. And they'll catch yes. that movement. So mm -hmm. if you have a blind like that, instead of you having to go buy another one, right. go pick yourself up some either black polar fleece, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Just and some kind of material. You can go and buy those cheap blankets. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. You know, a $5 blanket at... And drape them just cover on your like back side. two sides. Yes, sir. And then sir. have that back corner yep. be your, your backdrop. Yep. So there's and nothing to come through. No, no light yep. can come through. We saw that in Texas, remember? Yep. You and I. Oh, yeah. We had, there was a little hole up mm -hmm. in the blind, <laughs> and it was shiny. When the sun came up from the east, it was hitting it's us. Perfect. And it was, no, just, it was just literally terrible. outlining. No matter what camo we had on, we were outlined. So any movement, you know, the game all yeah. went like that. So, you know, pay attention to that. You, you know what I mean? And, and again, total, total concealment to me is absolutely the best. Absolutely. You know, this is great because we're all here and we're talking. But the other thing that sort of Aubrey brings to this table is a brand new hunter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Literally yes. brand new. You right? Like, like, like she oh, actually yeah, I'm was... learning a whole bunch of stuff as you guys talk. I'm just... I was going to say, you're <laughs> kind of like a sponge right now. You're yeah, absorbing, absorbing it because absorbing yeah. I know that she was excited about this podcast. Yes. Because she loves turkey hunting. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a little so, bit of competition there, too. A little? A little bit of competition a little bit. here. So. Just a little bit. Yeah. Go ahead and explain <laughs> that one. So RJ <laughs> has never gotten a turkey with his bow before, and I definitely beat the crap out of him <laughs> last year. Wow. I did. Yeah, she I did. did. She, she did. did. Mm -hmm. she, she did. did. She got one. Mm -hmm. yeah. she had you me. were determined. I you went an entire I mean, season. The, yeah, the first season that I went with my bow, I didn't get anything. You just had no luck. No. But and we you, even tried you to talk you out of hunting with the bow, with your horse. Yeah. No, We're like, just get your first turkey, and then you can go with your Hoyt, and it will be good. And she's like, nope. no. Nope. Nope. She had to be I me. want to get a turkey with my bow before RJ ever gets one with his bow. And that's it. So what, besides the competition, what, 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 what connected you to the turkey hunting? They're I mean, just so funny. They like, are. You can talk to them, and they're funny you know, looking, fluffy. Funny yeah, sounding. Funny fluffy. They get they're fluffy. fluffy. Yeah, they're just, they're cool. They're funny. Yeah. They're actually kind of ugly too. They're a little bit ugly, especially when they get yeah. all red. And I mean, when we saw them, oh, well, their heads, they got no hair. They're, yeah, they're ugly in a beautiful bit. way. You guys wanted to talk about different species of turkeys? <laughs> yes, that was not oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So, is there any tips and tricks for hunting different subspecies? Oh, okay. And what all have you guys hunted? Yeah. What all? Well, we've species? hunt. We've shot. We've shot the slam yes. with, with bow, our, with our hoits, crossbow, muzzleloader, and shotgun. Being your Eastern, your yeah. Rio, East Merriam, and Osceola. Yes. Correct. Yes. We haven't gone down to Mexico oscillated. and done yeah, right. Don't oscillated or gold. We yes. haven't done those. <coughs> no. Nope. They, they are beautiful. Yeah. They really are beautiful, That's but we really haven't cool done those. Okay. That's why now we just take our brownings out. We've <laughs> done it with the bows and it's stuff. Just like that. It yeah, it's just fun. Now it's just fun. We just oh, go yeah. and yeah. Um <laughs> you, you know, again, it, it's if we could talk about I'll I'll put it the analogy if it's bears if it's caribou if it's elk or red stag you know what i mean or the okay. different species Mount rocky mountain you know tool tool oh you're talking about all the different I'm looking species at all of these different species. critters yeah. okay i was kind of there's a common denominator <laughs> in all of them you know what i mean they all pretty much do the same things mm -hmm. so i i totally agree that you know the birds are the same same way food cover water Right. Locate those yep. three things. You, you know what I mean. And you'll find your game. And you'll you find could, your turkeys. Yes. You, right. you know, like like when those grasshoppers. I mean, you you've seen them in the mm -hmm. fields. When I mean, there's millions of them. Yes. Guess what they're feeding on? <laughs> the grasshoppers. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Not chocolate Delicious. covered, but no, you know what I mean. No, no, no but, it's good protein though. Yeah. You gotta be careful because that's where we want us to go now, right? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So go yeah. to the turkeys. Like these? any of your <laughs> a acorns on the ground. You, you, you know, there's so many <laughs> different <laughs> things. But if you locate those basic things in, 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 in survival, mm -hmm. I don't care what bird it is, what species of turkey, as far as the four that we have here in the United States, you could be successful. So then comes into play the, everybody says it, Osceola right. is the hardest turkey to get. Is it because of how limited the location is? Oh, I yes. think so. Okay. I, I really do. Yeah, and, 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 you, you know, you're, you're talking, if you've never been there, 
You know, if you've never gone for Osceola's. Which is down in Florida. Yes. Uh, they're Denver. not as vocal mm -hmm. like as a Merriam. You know you what I mean? They're, they're a little dark. smaller. They're yeah. darker. Yeah, they're darker. Um, you know, and, and when you go to people, good example, Hoppy. Mm -hmm. Yep. You could take two birds. In the state of Florida. In, in the Florida. Area. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. If you notice, 20 plus years that we've been with Hop, it's one. Yeah. Because, because he's he managing. Manages managing. It. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he, he doesn't overhunt it. Yep. Because he wants the people that are going to go down there to hunt those Osceolas to be successful. Mm -hmm. So he's aware of that. And that's one of the things. But like you said, like, so Osceolas, they have, Hoppy tried to tell us this before, the, the wing feathers are barbed. So if you look at an Eastern, they're black and white, yeah. brown and white, where the Osceolas are darker. You don't have as much white in an Osceola, mm -hmm. right? And then Easterns are the largest one. Is that correct? I believe Eastern, so, yep. Eastern are the out largest out birds. The, out of these four. Out of the four. Yeah, out yeah. of the Rio, think, Mario, Eastern, and Osceola. The ghoul or the gold? The, the biggest or something? I don't, I don't know because we never hunt it. Now we've there's, seen them. Because I know there's a bunch that. of different mm -hmm. subspecies. And in I mean, general, we, we've shot some big Easterns. Yeah. Oh, back yeah. in Illinois. My I mean, biggest, remember? On the scale, was 30 pounds. That's a big Easter. But now out here, we don't get as big as birds. No. But we have beautiful white tail feathers. And they're tips. They're both. They're a little more. Oh, really? They go at it. Spurs aren't as big. No, no. The spurs aren't as big here. Nope. No. Mm -mm. But also, you know, again, you could have the same species, subspecies, but if they live in a rocky terrain or right. a rougher terrain, their spurs are probably going to be worn down yep. where it's a softer soil or a sandy soil. You, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it all depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for, you know, a lot of guys, they want the beard, they want, you know, they want the spurs. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't say guys, hunters. Thank you. Yep. Thank and huntresses. Uh, huntresses. Yeah. Sportsmen you, you know, and women. Sportsmen and women. And, and that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why if those are things you're looking for, you know, always carry a little pair of optics yep. because you see those birds far off and they're starting right. to come into your, oh, yeah. your, 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 your play. You know what I mean? We always carry the little compact ones from Cabela's. They yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they fit they're, right in your dang pocket. They're this, not even this big. Yep. Yeah, we really don't need to take the big ones that I always do. No. I, I, always, take my, I always take my deer hunting ones, my elk hunting ones. I'm like looking for turkeys. Well, that's like, yeah, this is Nebraska, the Nebraska and it was all just super open. That's yep. why I had my bino harness on mm -hmm. when we were trying to get mm -hmm. you one. Yep. And yeah. I was I was being a guide for... Yeah, we did great. I was... You can call a turkey guide now? I'd hire you again, oh, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I'd maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, no, He's it's definitely a lot. superfluous now. Is that number four? What is that word? Superfluous? Is Can't spell nice. it, but it sounds good. Superfluous is my favorite word ever. What does it mean? Give not me necessary. Do you know what the definition is? Yeah, word? not necessary. Unnecessary. The, the definition yeah. is not necessary. Yeah, oh, okay. it's unnecessary. You can take that no, either no, way. I, 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 I know, I always say you're superfluous. You're superfluous. I do what not. Is it? That's what she says, superfluous. It's superfluous. It's superfluous. Now I, I know why. I'm school. not necessary. Hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's okay, move on anyways. before I really get pissed okay, off. Okay, what's another one? <laughs> Do you have more questions? Next oh, question. I thought you were going to ask the no, next this one. Is, okay, well, which we're one? We're just throwing in. Just start, just start okay. shooting. Start shooting. Come on. Mm, okay, so do you have a favorite turkey to... A turkey do? <laughs> do you have a favorite turkey to hunt, like a certain species that you would prefer to hunt more than the other ones? Hmm. That's a good question. Of the ones you've hunted already. Right. Yeah. So we've had the four. We haven't done the other two. It's a good question. What do you think? It's a podcast, you gotta talk. I'd, I'd have to say okay. Miriam. You know what? I haven't no. done it too much, but I'd have to say Miriam just because I love the vocalization. They're so loud. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they are. And, they are loud. And, and the white. I love the white. you hear them in the valley, you know what I mean? And they gobble you and can you, work you hear them. And so then you start working and you, you, it's cool because you're making, it's a spot and stalk, yeah. which is yeah. cool. Honestly, I don't think it's the bird as much as it's the people. I, I love, okay. huh? That's fair. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, love, we love when going we're down, down at hops. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. With Susan, with the, the boys, with yeah. everybody. It's just, to me, if you you were to say, if you had one, you know, one thing, we, one turkey we mm -hmm. could hunt every year, mm -hmm. I, I'd say down at with hop. Down with hop. The okay. Now, don't forget, yep. the last year, we actually had Hoppy and Susan up here. Yeah, and Hoppy got his bird. Yeah. He got his bird. So, I mean, again, like you said, it really depends on who you're hunting it's with. It's who you're with. Okay. You, you, know, you know what I mean? And that camaraderie and, and sharing that, now that we share it all together, right. it, there's, you can't beat it. So it ain't the bird. It's the, it's the people that make that adventure that much more fun. Mom? I agree. You agree? I concur. Concur. Okay. Yeah. I concur. Oh all right, gosh. then let me ask this. Uh-oh. <laughs> Same question, but different aspect. What bird would you hunt that you haven't hunted yet? What's like your dream oh. place to go to hunt a bird? I know. I don't like know. if you could hunt a turkey anywhere in the world, what kind of turkey and where would it be? I know I shot an ostrich once. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was in I, Africa with her, with her hoi. And it's a little bit bigger than yeah, yeah, Just a little bit bigger. Not Not really. Really. I, honestly, so, so I know, I know y'all love turkey hunting. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, that's a, yeah, that's like, what I but, but wouldn't you? It's the people. Yeah, it is. It, it's the event. It's, it's a hunt. Give me big game. Yeah. And I'm, I'm much happier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do not so, understand when someone it. says, you know, man, you know, elk hunting's or it's like turkey hunting. It's like turkey up. No. Mm -mm. I mean, don't hate me because I don't like dream about turkey hunting. Mm -hmm. Like when you just ask that question, I'm like, never really thought about it, honestly. <laughs> Isolated like, though, just because the beauty of well, that. Well, those that, are beautiful. It's gorgeous. They are. You, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's yeah. in the, the, like a jungle type of atmosphere yeah. and everything. It's mm -hmm. completely different to anything else. But yeah. turkey hunting. I think right. I would love someday to, to try to get one of them. This right. is the first no, I've no, never I'll heard this. That, yeah. Write that down. Note this down. Yeah. And I would mount that bird. You would? So yeah. Would it like a full mount? What, what kind of yeah, mount Oh, yeah. Mean? However the, the plumage how, how, looks the best. Do you, you know what I mean? Be, plumage. Plumage. Can't spell it, this, but it sounds This whole podcast good. is about big I know. words. Yes. Yes. But you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd yes. like to have that because the colors are just gorgeous. They are. Incredible. They, they are yeah. very pretty. Yep. And again, it's the adventure. You know, I do have some peacock feathers from Curl Ranch. From Clint? Yeah, from Clint. We could put them in your full mount. There you go. <laughs> there you, go. you can make it, it like a special. I could create a new subspecies. There you go. We should to totally Ooh. do that. We should. We should totally do that and stick them in the full mount. Take a picture and post it. That'd be kind of funny. You people guys would people laugh be at like, oh, what? Something. What? Where'd was, you get that? It was a crossbreed. It was the weirdest thing. It's, it's a hybrid. It's the strangest <laughs> thing. You only get them in certain areas in Colorado. Yeah. And then we'll find out that it was on the endangered species. <laughs> <laughs> There really was. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Lead us into the next question. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. So do you prefer to have a decoy when possible? You want me to answer that again first? That is totally up to you because there's all kinds of different decoys we mm -hmm. can have. I mean, you have yep. just your... I like, uh, Go ahead. I like the decoy because it draws the attention from you. From you, because okay. they're looking at the decoy rather than yeah. at you. So if you're moving that last minute just to get that, you know, the gun or you're getting ready to draw your bow right. back, their attention is to that decoy rather than you as a hunter. So, I mean, that's cool. The other and thing they show is, off to it. They do show yeah. off to it. Yeah. So, I mean, stuff in front yep. of it. Okay. The, the, sometimes it's kind of crazy how they'll act, especially the gobblers when they come in. <laughs> I mean, we've had them where the gobbler will come into the decoy and attack it. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't usually attack a hen decoy. Nope. But if you put out a Jake and it's a big gobbler, he's going to come in there and beat the tar out of your decoy. It's the craziest thing, and it scares the crap out of you when it happens because oh, you don't expect yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So you're being all quiet, and you're waiting for that shot, and you're waiting, and you're waiting for his head to come up out of his body or something. And he's all strutting next to that decoy, and all of a sudden he's like, what? <laughs> on him. And you're like, Duh, and you jump, and you're trying to compose yourself. It's crazy. Did you like that explanation? Yes. I, did. I, like I remember that. a few years ago, <laughs> I said I was hunting. Yes. And I was filming, and I remember... Yes. It jumps and it moves, and, and I jumped too. and I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I know. I mean, it, it kind of freaks you out because you're does. not expecting it. It's all quiet, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he's all strutting, and he's boom, and he's strutting around the thing, and all of a sudden he just out of nowhere, out of nowhere, out and of nowhere, you, you're and, like, so and like funny. in slow motion, all of a sudden you see like his back legs flip up, and you like yeah, and kicks out of the decoy, and you're like, that's funny. We, oh, they yeah. beat up quite a few hoppies decoys, especially. They oh, have, yeah. they yeah. have in between fact, between one, the turkeys and when we shoot them. Right. I mean, well, you have the yeah, true, because of scruffy. Whoopsies. Yep. Sorry, hoppy. Scruffy was a bad shape. Yeah. Hoppy has a decoy. His that name is decoy. Ooh. Ooh. Imagine it's how hard. many birds that thing's called in. Well, you look at today's decoys now, like avi you see them, how mm -hmm. real they look, the oh, coloration, right, yeah. Yeah. And the you pigmentation on the. You know, mm -hmm. and, and then fan. we added the new, the, yep. you know, a real fan to a real it. Real fan, right. just to add that more. Yep, and we put the rubber band. We actually designed something of our own, you know what I mean? It, yep. it flips up and it movement. just mm -hmm. gives that movement, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, it's just cool. And, and here's the thing that a lot of people sort of. Those who are just starting turkey hunting, or even those that are veterans, they want to shoot a bird. Mm -hmm. Right. But that decoy sometimes, when it comes in and they, sh you know, it clears clears the shot and you shoot it. If you would just sit back and just watch them, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And watch what it, they do with the decoy. It's mm -hmm. amazing. It's weird. But we're so it's, it's intent crazy to, to see it to hurry up right. and get get mm -hmm. him down. Yeah. You know, hit the ground. But right. but if there's an opportunity and you could sit there and just let it happen. Mm -hmm. Right. And you'll be amazed. I remember years ago, if you remember our farm in Iowa, Matt, Matt Moret. Oh, yeah. And now Matt's one of the best turkey hunters I've ever met in my right. life. You know, now Matt, 
Matt calls me up because because he he was hunting the farm. Mm -hmm. He goes, I just passed up the biggest gobbler I've ever seen. Now here's a guy I couldn't <laughs> tell you how many hundreds, if not you know, right. birds. He he and he, he's won the world calling. I mean, but I said passed him up. I said, was he too far? He goes, no, he he just didn't perform. He wanted him to show off. He Matt, he wanted him to beat up the decoy yeah. or kind of. Strut around kind of for the his footage. footage. Yeah, for the footage, but... Where a lot of us, can't. it's like, they're... Wow. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, yeah. yeah. But Matt, Matt, at that time, taught me a very valuable lesson. And, mm -hmm. and that is, sometimes, just sit back and enjoy it and just watch them and experience it. Instead of just hurrying up and popping them. You, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and that, to me, stuck... That, that stuck in my crawl a long time. Crawl. Uh, Got it up in his crawl. Thought I'd okay. throw it. Six. Yep. Crawl? Crawl's a lot. Yeah. big word. No, it's not a big word, but... Okay. It's a word that I haven't ever heard him say yeah. before. No. Me neither. Okay. So Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, All that right. was another one. Yes. All right. All right, Aubrey. Got more? Do you replace mouth calls yearly? Or is there a Ooh. way that you can oh. make them last longer? Yes, every that's calls. a good question. Yes. Now, I, you know what? I'll just tell you. I saw that question. There was a response. Yes. And there was a response. I don't remember who it was, but I got to commend you. And yep. that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. We are asking y'all to give us questions. And if we don't know the answer, we're going to tell you we don't know the answer. Mm -hmm. However, the, the gentleman that talked about, I, I would normally take my read calls and I break a toothpick. Yep. And I put it in between put it in the between. latex. Right. Okay, yep. This way for next year, you know, mm -hmm. keep it dry or cool mm -hmm. and you don't have no issues. And it'll, they'll last you. It depends actually how 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 much how you're going to be on them on right yep. but they're not that expensive mm -hmm. so you know you know if you want to buy a new set every year or every other year you're fine mm -hmm. but i used to put a toothpick he put in the response a paper clip mm -hmm. i never yeah. thought of that that is so ingenious because <laughs> it's smaller yeah, you don't have narrower. to snap a toothpick. Yep. It's narrower. It's flatter. You can put it in. It's easier to hold on to and, yeah. and hurry up and clean all the crap out of there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and then just leave it there. So much. Thank you so much. And that's why we're doing this. We need that input from everybody because, listen, we're no experts. Never nope. claim to be. Never will be. Nope. nope. But we all learn from the highest authority out there. And that's the animals and the birds and the wildlife themselves. Mm -hmm. And so, thank you so much for that. So my question is, is that I cannot use a mouth call. Nope. I choke. I yes. go, and it, it yes. wants to go down my throat yeah. instead of yeah. doing the way it's supposed to. I'll just go make Even my own Even with the noises. trough ones, you, you right. still could. I, I just yep. can't. I just, it, mm -mm. No, I'll just do it with my mouth and we'll be, I'll be good without yeah. anything in it. Mm -hmm. I know when we go elk hunting, which again, I still can't use mouth calls, but elk hunting, they have like double layered and triple layered yep. reeds in your mouth. Do they do that with turkey hunting? Yes. Okay, absolutely. so if you use the paper and clip, then that way the paper clip will stop would actually that. stop the latex Two from sticking together. Right. Like if you mm -hmm. take an old pair of latex gloves, mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like they stick together yeah, and then yeah, they, yeah, when yeah, you go yeah. to pull it, they rip. Yeah. yeah. That putting that paper, paper clip, clip mm -hmm. where I used to put the you know the, the toothpick, the toothpick. You put that paper clip in there, you'll never have that issue. So it'll last okay. you for a few seasons. You, you know what I mean? Cool. But but have you tried a mouth call? I have. Not a fan. No, no, <laughs> no I don't like the feeling. No, I I can't it's more like, of a texture. Well, they're oh, great. They're didn't like think about that. Green or something, yeah. It rubs in my mouth the wrong way, and I just don't like it. No, no. I just, <laughs> I like but that's I, why I, they I make try, box calls yeah, and slate calls, calls yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. everything yeah. else. You yeah. do that all day. Yeah, you have yep. a ton of options. Yep. And I, you know, I love my box call, especially mm. to, to reach out far. Because you could get on that thing, oh, you know what I mean? And but there's guys that can do the slate. They can do their reads the same, you know, high pitches, mm -hmm. and and you know carry that distance out there. But um, I, raspy I, hens. Yeah, well, you know, should know about that. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Old I'm raspy. Staying out of this one. Yeah, I'm, sta <laughs> I'm staying out I'm of this trouble. one. Yeah, I'm grounded. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, another question. But, no. <laughs> But like mom, she she has the ability. I mean, she, you know, and we yeah. all try it. You you know, but, but hers, she probably has the best calls out of all of us for sure. I'd say. Without a read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wouldn't do it right now. But then again, you know, it's a raspy, <laughs> raspy. I definitely hen. have a raspy hen call. That's yep. great. Yes. Probably from you smoking cigars I, I or something. Oh like my that. gosh, I've never smoked in my life. Oh my gosh, but I can't do it quiet. It has to be loud. Yeah. I I can't make. Oh, I know that. Out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then let's let's take a turn back to Hoppy real quick. Okay. Just because I do want to talk about this before we kind of 
wrap, wrap, up, wrap this, it up. Yeah. One of the things that I've just learned recently that you guys have been doing with Hoppy for years and years, because we've been going there since I was... Two. Two? Two. Yeah, yeah like 20 years. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just, I, last year was really the first year I kind of guided or experienced my own like self-guided turkey hunt in yep. a way. Mm -hmm. Right. And <clears throat> in the situation like with Hoppy where they go out, they kill a lot of birds every single year, um, he goes out and rather than killing that first big strutting tom coming in, Right, the dominant. He, yeah, he takes one of the lesser. Yep. Not necessarily saying it's a lesser bird, but right. if you shoot that big tom, if I'm not mistaken, more than likely the rest of them are going to disperse for a couple days. Yep, what you do and what he taught us. He, he paid attention to Hoppy. Good yep, job. He did. Good job. And, and, and Hoppy showed us that. We didn't know it. Yeah, no. And what it is, is especially if you're hunting private land or you're way back on public that nobody's disturbing, you know, yep. that you've gone beyond where everyone else is hunting. Yeah. The big thing there is when you locate a strutter, you, the big guy, you, yeah. you know what I mean? And I'm not saying the big, he could be, he doesn't have to be the biggest, longest beard. Yeah. Right. It's just he's the, the dominant, dominant bird. bird. Yep. Yep. It's like your he attracts right. the he's others. Your, he's yes. your third Tom. Yes. He attracts the others. Tom. You, you <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, if you take him out, mm -hmm. those other ones get sort of screwed up for a few. They get messed get, up. Yeah. They get messed up. Mm -hmm. yep. Where if you would have taken out one of the other subordinate ones. Which can be just as big or bigger, or bigger. than the dominant one. Yeah. It's the huh. dominant one. Then you'll have almost yes. like another satellite Tom come in. Right. And he proved he that out. to us year after year after year because we were hunting the ranch. Mm -hmm. the, you know, you know down what I mean? Hops, yep. Down in Hops, private land. And we witnessed it. Uh, it was it was crazy because I would have never thought that at mm. all. Yeah. I would have thought you, you 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 know you bust the the strutter yeah. out, the new one's, another one's come coming in. in. Yeah, it it dispersed them. Huh. You, you know what I <laughs> mean? So that was real interesting. And thanks Hop because we didn't know that. And and you that's, know when that's you that's another yeah. reason you go down to Hop because year after year we learn something new. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. between turkeys, hogs, gators, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. anything you want to do down there. <laughs> anything. They they got it down. Yeah, they do. They got on a wrap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, Aubrey, you want to finish us off <clears throat> with the final question? Hmm, it's you want it's me quite to read a word for word, or you want me to paraphrase it? However you'd like to. It's kind of a controversial one. Oh boy, uh -oh. here we go. Yep. What is this? Wait, hold on. I've this never is the read fun it. one. Hold on. <laughs> Did you not prepare for this podcast? Robert. I didn't see this paper until <sighs> we sat down here. Yep. Oh, so bear with me. I, gotta go I actually know what again. it is. <laughs> I, I know the question. Do you want me to word it for you? Oh, I was actually going to. Okay. Okay. I know the question. Is it because I said controversial? Yes. So, you guys ready? Yes. What are your thoughts on fanning in turkeys? We've been oh, doing it for now years. I understand. I, was I understand it now. I was you, you thinking know about it's, that too. You it know is, it's, it uh, is controversial. You're okay. either for it or against it. That's that's right. about where we sit. There's there's some in the middle there that are like they don't really care. Uh, but right. But yep. that's either oh, you're cheating or you're utilizing your resources. So the first thing I would say is the first time that <clears throat> we ever dealt with the situation of fanning, mm -hmm. we were down at Hoppy's and we were floored. Because, mm -hmm. but it was before it was actually a new thing. Yeah. It was, I mean, it's probably 20 years, 20 years ago. ago. And we're like. And he's been doing it for 30. And he's been yeah. doing it forever, <laughs> you know. And, and we're like, that was crazy. Mm -hmm. However, he doesn't, he doesn't use it. And we, first of all, not on public land. Like, you no. need right. to make sure yeah. you're on, yeah. you're on private yeah. land. Because. Be safe if you're going to Be safe. safe oh because there's gosh, people, yep. you're not wearing, you're not wearing blaze orange. There's shotguns out there. Mm -hmm. Full camo. Obviously, identify your target before yes. you shoot mm -hmm. the whole kit and caboodle. Absolutely. Because there's people out there that don't. Right. So, mm -hmm. for your own safety, don't go fanning on public land. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Um, however, <clears throat> we've always used decoys. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. And, and, and when the wind's blowing, it makes a decoy move a little bit, which mm -hmm. makes them come and look at it a little bit more. Yeah. Right. We have done fanning before. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Honestly, <coughs> we usually have a fan in our pocket, okay? Yeah. yeah. But it's really more for like at that last moment. Something happens, mm -hmm. they get nervous. Yep. Something else happens, and they, they hang up. They, get they hang, hang up, up at 80 yards. And you just kind of you just kind of pull it out, you and you're still pulling everything, you, everything you, possibly, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I mean? And it brings them in a little closer. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean okay. that's I would. Wouldn't you agree? Well, it, it, you hit it when you earlier when you said, um, "How did you put it?" That it's. Just another tactic. tool, another tactic. You're utilizing your resources. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, right. you know, there's people that probably say, well, I would never use a decoy. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? And that's, that's fine. fine. That's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I would never shoot them. You, I mean, you, you look at 12 gauge, then they want 20, now they're at 410s. You yeah. know what I mean? And no people be saying, well, you know, uh, if, you, if, if, you, you know, if you don't hold a 410, you, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here's, here's the reality of it. 
if it's legal in your state, province, or country, Absolutely. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Understand that everything that we do in the field, everything we do, um, you know, can create something. Mm -hmm. Because there's always going to be someone, you know, good example, you know, baiting for deer in, you know, Kansas. Yeah. You're right? right. right. Yeah. You, you can't bait here. You couldn't bait in Illinois. You know what I mean? Yep. But would you not hunt Kansas because they bait, you, you, you know what I mean? Or Texas. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Texas. Texas. Yep. There Texas. you go, yeah. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. but you can do a food plot, but that's okay. So, so I mean, it, it's really, here's again, the, like you were saying, we have to stop fighting the, amongst, amongst ourselves yeah. as hunters. Because like you said, it's just another tactic. If that's how you want to do it, do it. But do it yep. safely and be yeah. aware of your surroundings and where you're at. Do it safely make sure it's legal. Right. Yes. And right. don't go against those that... If they're doing right. something legal that they feel like they want to do, we, don't we, go after them. We, we right. don't tear don't tear this already hurting no, no. Right. industry and, apart and, even and more. And there's a bunch of different gimmicks out there for all types mm -hmm. of hunting. There really are. I mean, heck, we, I saw a fan with an umbrella. That's what I was remember, just I remember yeah. there was an umbrella that you put I could, up I could and I was stand like, up and walk at that bird. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, there's all kinds of different ways and different tactics and different things that people like. Hey, check this. Try this. You know, if it's legal, why not? Yep. You know, I, I mean, here, I mean, look at. There you go. A bird flying down, a bird fluffing. Yep. You know what I mean? That's my hat. Yep. No, this is your hat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Your hats. 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 Oh, you I mean, you, yeah. you usually wear a few. There you usually wear a couple hats. Like you uh, never I just designed it. Look at. Oh. Now I have a brim to block the sun. Front row. There you go. Oh, look at. That is the ultimate. Ultimate turkey killing machine. It keeps it right out of your there. eyes. Huh? Keeps it out of your eyes, too. Yeah, you like my eyes. My eyes are good looking. Ah. They're kind of brown. Yeah. Mm. Means there's, there's a joke. There's a joke in there yeah. that I can't say right so now. So, did we answer your question? Yes. I would say so. Again, unify, don't divide. Right. Pretty simple. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, no, no matter what, we want everyone to go out there and be successful. I don't care if you're hunting with a, a bow. A crossbow, a shotgun, a muzzle loader. Mm -hmm. Young, old, <laughs> young, new, old. experienced. Right. Yeah, right. any of it. Get out yep. there and share it blind, with everybody. Blind, no blind. Yeah. Decoys, no decoys. Box call, mouth call. If it's legal, do it. Do Try it. it. Go you know out. Know I mean? Just get we out need to there. get our numbers up. Yes. yes. We do, because, again, like you always say, you politicians listen to one thing, mm -hmm. and that's numbers. Numbers are power. And if we mm -hmm. keep yep. beating ourselves up with amongst each other, our numbers are going to go down and no one's going to listen to us. Nope. They're getting thin. They're getting thin. Yeah. And in the way the world is right now, upside down, we really need to stick together. Again, we don't look at hunting as a sport, never have. It no. is a lifestyle, and you live it 24-7 with your family and your loved ones. Yep. When you do that, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this month's The Choice Podcast. And listening. And listening, and listening, yes. And listening. For all of our listeners out there. Um, thank you guys, of course. Yes. Well, thank you Again, guys. Thank you. Uh, everybody. And don't like, don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. Like, yes. subscribe, share. follow. Go check out our right. social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Ralph and Vicky, uh, RJ and Aubrey. Aubrey. <laughs> I think <laughs> I covered all the bases. Did you get probably, them all? Probably missed something. YouTubes, of course, the same. YouTubes. Ralph Which and Vicky, I'm pretty RJ sure if they're listening to it, they're on YouTube that's, right now. Well, they could be Apple Podcasts. Oh, okay, that's oh, true. Spotify, yeah, okay. uh, but if they're iHeart watching Radio. It, it's probably on YouTube. If, well, yeah. Okay, I was just checking. The bottom line here, we're going to give you the real deal every time. <laughs> yep. Period. Yep. So we're, we're not gonna... trying to make, you know, we are not, you know, experts at anything. Nope. We nope. just love doing what we do, and we've been blessed because of all of you. Mm -hmm. Yep, and next podcast we'll ask questions again on social media for more yep. questions right yep prior, what are we gonna do? prior right. to us recording that's a secret we can't tell you yeah, yet we can't tell you yet. they oh. like to surprise us with yeah. this stuff it's the what? best kind <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure eddie that. behind the camera over there he wanted me to do that did yeah. you see him looking he was trying oh, to say bear. bear. Oh, oh, bears. Nice. oh, that was oh, bears. bears. Oh, we could do, we could I do bears. Was cat, ah, yeah. That was turkey Ooh. jumping a decoy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh. It's, it's Thank bear you, season really here in a few months. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think. That'd be good. Yeah, that's a good one. So I think okay. we're opening this one by saying, hey, let's talk bears. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All righty. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.